Hello again, it's Lock Noob, and here we have a disc detainer lock. Um, I believe it's like a, a, a motorcycle chain padlock, and it appears to have 11 discs. So I did a bit of counting, uh, not the best at, uh, at counting uh, disc detainer padlocks, but um, there seems to be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 11 and a spinner so I think it's, uh, so these these are two uh, front discs and then there's a spinner at the front which uh, doesn't have any gates in but I believe it's an 11 disc padlock it certainly picks like it anyway so what's we going to use to pick it well I've got a uh, a modified disc detainer pick from sparrows just far down a bit I've set the depth to pick up the first disc and it appears to work. So let me go grab a vise, pop this in and see if we can't pick it. So we're in the vise and the first thing to do is just make sure that we are fully locked up. Then I'm just gonna take a tool and turn all the discs as far clockwise as I can. There we go. Pop the tip like this and then throw that into, just move the lighting a little bit. Um, throw that into the lock to make sure that if we can do it, there we go. Uh, we pick up that first disc, and it should mean it binds a bit like that. Okay. Now, if we are properly centered, we should be able to sort of move the. It's important to get this right to begin with. Make sure it's comfortably able to slide up and down all the discs all the way to the end. Um, make sure that we are, yep. Make sure that we're all on properly and that we're able to just slide down to every position. Yeah, good. Okay, so um, let's have a go at what we seem to be on. Seem to be stuck on this disc. Okay, good. Right, so don't like the way this first disc is playing up. Um, but it appears to be quite nice now. There we go. So just make sure everything is at its maximum clockwise position, and then we'll start to uh, feel for the first disc, so disc, well it'll be disc two is mildly binding, leave that alone, disc three, do you hear that little click there? So just going to leave that about here, we will have to revisit all these, disc four, definitely binding, it seems to be binding front to back by and front tensioning, so Okay, disc five, I think. Nice click. And th th these two seem to be sort of stopping about here. Let's go to the back. That's not binding yet, look. Really loose. Okay, right, start at the front again. I sort of lost my positioning, so, uh, oh, there you go, so, disc one, that feels set there, disc two, disc three, sorry, that'll be disc four, won't it, disc four, disc five, Oh, this six is binding now. So, come here, come here. Mm, 
I'm not sure disk seven is gritty, but I'm not getting great feedback. Disk eight. Oh, that's better. Whatever's going on here is much better. It's nine. But maybe we've lost count on these disks a bit, but still. Okay, and that's the eleventh disk there, I think. Okay, I think. Let's try that again. Nope, still not getting anything from that. Okay, back to the front again. And what we need to do is just keep going through these and they as more ah see I'm guessing better feedback now as more of these discs are in a gate and there are no false gates in this the feedback will be a lot better listen do you hear that more positive click nice click there as well so let's give this one this is binding nicely I like to go back and even though if they are in a gate just test that they're fully in where they should be. Good. That one's really sort of set back a bit. There we go. Towards the end again. And the last disc, uh, is it, are we binding yet? Oh yeah, okay, so the last disc, disc I believe it's 11, is binding nice and heavily now, so we should be able to see what, can't get onto it, where are you? Come here. Yeah, about here. Okay, so next disk. Come on. Okay. Getting towards the front again, just, just making sure that all these disks are in a true gate. And can you hear those clicks? You can see that we're definitely getting closer, can't you? Because we're... Everything's giving some lovely positive feedback now. Okay, right, so I think this will be the last pass. We've gone through these discs, that's a nice click. Everything's being really positive now. You can hear those lovely clicks as we're getting closer to an open. Come on. It must be really close now, right? Okay. Oh, I think we've got the open. There we go. Whew, that was, um, like I said, it was just going through disc by disc, one by one. Sorry about the silence towards the end, but um, yeah, that's, that's the trick of these locks really, is trying to see which one is binding, get them roughly in position, and then keep passing back and forth, taking them out of the gate and in, back in. 
just so that the sidebar is fully in the center of the gate. And then, uh, yeah, we get the open. Now, I did think, is this lock guttable? And uh, the sad thing is, is that it looks like it could have been, apart from one small thing which they did on this lock. I'm trying to push this core out for you. That's a little annoying. Come here. There we go. Come on. It's really tight in there. Is this, look, they've crimped here and here, which means we can't slide out the um, this cassette and see what's on the inside. The only thing I, I can say about that is that probably won't be anything remarkable in there. Um, the only good thing about this is the number of discs. It's got more than a standard six to uh, to nine discs in there. Other than that, it's um, got no false gates in there at all. So yeah, that's it. That's the uh, Mammoth Security uh, Bike Disc Detainer. Hope you enjoyed that video. If you did, leave a like. If you've got any comments about this lock, if you picked one or anything like that, please leave a comment below. I'll read them all, reply to as many as I can. If you haven't subscribed, please consider subscribing. It really helps me out. And I'll see you all next time.